Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will be teaching you the first steps on how to communicate with your guide. For those that are on the spiritual path and do not have an idea how to begin, how to, I did a video on how to set up your altar or your boveda and this video is about the process when you sit down to contact your guides. The first thing you have to make sure that you have is your goblet of water with your cross your Florida water, this is my potion. I showed it to you in the last video. Or Colonia 1800. Your cascarilla. Your candle. Your book of prayer. If you don't have it, it's okay. I'm gonna show you a different way of doing it. Since the prayer in the English version are not that accurate and it's not a correct translation, I will be showing you a different way that you can do it. The important thing is that you do a prayer from the heart, that you show honesty and sincerity when trying to communicate with your guides. So let's say this is your boveda or your beginner's altar. You have to understand this is a meeting with your guides. This is something that you must take very, very seriously and with responsibility. You must take your spiritual bath in the morning. If you can just, you know, a cool shower or a simple bath with cascarilla in Florida water or colonia. Dress in white. It's very, very important that you dress in white when you sit in front of your altar or boveda. Cover your head. I'm going to teach you the way I do it. This is the way it has worked for me. And I can see, hear, and feel my spirits. So I don't see why it wouldn't work for you. If you have your godfather, if you have your spiritual teacher, you can ask them to teach you their way because every house works differently. But if you don't, I'm going to teach you my way and the way it has worked for me. So the first thing is you are going to sit, make sure that you're relaxed, that your cell phone is turned off, that you don't have anyone around you disturbing you, turn off the radio, turn off the TV. This is a private meeting with your guides. This is your, your, a learning session okay so I don't want you to expect too much just allow things to happen so the first thing that you will do is I open this spiritual session in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit then you're going to meditate for a while you could close your eyes if you um, wish to do so and just meditate thanking God for his presence in your life for your family for your health for all the blessings he has poured upon you and your family. Just a moment of thanksgiving, thanking God for everything he has done for you. Then after you have meditated, you begin with the Lord's Prayer. Always saying slowly. You want to absorb, you want to feel every word. After the Lord's Prayer, you do the Hail Mary and you end with the Creed. And for those that have, I mean in Spanish, the book they start by doing the prayers in Spanish. I will be showing you how to do it in the Spanish version of this video. But if you don't have the prayer book, if you don't have the correct translation, what you do is you say, God Almighty, I ask for permission to communicate with my spirit guides and guardian angel. Then you place your hand over the goblet. As you do this, you're looking inside the goblet of water. My spirit guides, please allow me to communicate with you visually, mentally, and clairvoyantly. Then you remove your hand. Again, then you do the Lord's Prayer. Glory be, Hail Mary, and the Lord's Creed. Take your Florida water. Rub some on your hands, on your forehead, the back of your neck your arms, your legs, and breathe some in and rub your hands. Most times, as you rub your hands, you start feeling the energy of the spirits. You start getting goosebumps and you feel them as, as they come closer to you. This is something I do very often when I want to build up the energy of my guides I rub my hands together you can do this until you feel the energy building up and after a while you just feel that urge to rub your hands together 
I do not know why. But as soon as I sit down and I call upon my spirit guides, I, I get that urge just to rub my hands together. This, for some reason, brings my spirit closer to me um, faster. As you are doing that, you can just look into the goblet, the candle. And another thing I would like to add is, when you look at the lower part of the flame, I noticed this when I was beginning when I was young, that it stimulates your third eye and it helps to open your third eye. You might see images in the flame or images in the goblet. And just sit there. If you feel like closing your eyes, you can close your eyes. Just relax. Like I said, do not push it. Do not expect too much. Just allow it to happen. If you want, you can mentally ask either your guardian angel or spirit guides for a sign. My guardian angel or my spirit guides, please let me know if you're around. Just wait and relax. It's okay if you don't feel anything at all the first day. That is fine. Remember, this is like a friendship. You are building that trust between the spirits and you. They have to learn to trust you, to learn that you're honest in your intention. So after you're done, make sure that you write down whatever you see, feel, or hear. If you don't feel anything, like I said, that is fine. Later on in other videos, I will be teaching you how to prepare some spiritual baths that will help you to make you more sensitive to the spiritual energy. So don't worry too much about it. Um, patience is the key. After you're done, I thank God, I thank my guardian angel and spirit guides for meeting with me here today. I thank you for your teachings. And then you say, I close this spiritual session until further notice. Then again, you do the Lord's Prayer, Hail Mary, Glory Be, and the Creed. Turn off your candle. If you have a seven day candle on, then you can leave it on. If you have a small candle, then you can turn it off after you finish, but never, never blow it. Wet your hands and you turn it off this way, okay? And don't worry, you will not get burned. I hope this video has given you sort of the first steps as to what to do to communicate with your guardian angel and spirit guides. This will open a door. Anytime you sit in front of an altar and call up on your spirit guides, you are opening the door to a spiritual world. So that is why it's very, very important that you do everything to protect yourself. I like to burn some incense. I didn't show you that, the incense sticks. Um, but it's always good to either burn some incense in the room where you're going to do your prayer and make sure that the energy there is clean. Make sure that you're in a good mood, in a positive mood, that you're not upset. I say if you're upset, if you haven't had a good day or a good night's sleep or you're hungry, do not sit in front of your altar or your boveda. Um, you might feel sleepy. Sometimes the spirits like to help you relax a bit. It's not sleeping, it's more sort of a meditation state. So that's fine. But if you find yourself while sitting in your boveda or your altar, nodding off constantly all the time, then cleanse yourself prior to doing it because that's a sign that some lower level entity is around you so those are things that you need to be aware of and the other thing is very important to always open and close so you will not leave that spiritual door open you can call upon your gatekeeper to open the gates in the beginning and at the end to close the gates the gatekeeper of your spiritual quadrant i hope you have enjoyed this video i hope you have learned the first steps on communicating with your guardian angels and spirit guides. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Do not forget to share and subscribe to my channel. God bless you all and love and light.